Hello and thank you all for watching. This is Manny Sunnyson for a Venus entering into the sign of Leo and it will stay there for a long time. Uh, I hope you guys have been spending a great time when the when when the full moon happened uh, and also I hope you had a good time when Venus was in Cancer. Um, well, the full moon that happened on June the 2nd in Sagittarius, uh, which is not devoid of any challenges and opportunities to advance in consciousness in our lives. As I said earlier in previous polls, this full moon includes many squares, the sun and the moon was squared in Neptune, blurring the tracks and maps and maps emerging us with doubts and making our confused forebodings. However, the square is an invitation to for transformation. And to those who decided to see clearly, to be lucid and advance at all costs, despite the mist towards uh, the light, opportunities for change and understanding could be numerous. On Friday, June 5th, uh, Venus entered into the sign of Leo. Position was pleasant by nature. The, the Leo is uh, analogy with the heart uh, chakra and represents love, romance, and allowing Venus to radiate its full potential. This astrological position is more even interesting when you consider these two elements that will be multiply its impact during the summer. Uh, the first is that for almost a year, Jupiter and planet of abundance, expansion, improvement is in the sign of Leo, which means if we imagine a time in heaven, our sweet Venus now will gradually advance towards him to form a spectacular conjunction in the sky during July 1st, and for that period from June 18th to, four, to 15th of August. This union of two beneficial planets in the heaven of these uh, two carriers by chance has some reasons to celebrate. Uh, will be honored by sentimental issues with the ability to live in rewarding and harmonious relations. Uh, but money matters, uh, harmony and creativity, the presence of Venus. Uh, along with Jupiter, just, uh, just as a Kickstarter can trigger positive and concrete events. Um, as it is with the case, uh, when uh, a fast planet comes to meet with a slower one, here Venus uh, to Jupiter. Jupiter is in Leo, a climate of prosperity, of pleasure, of radiation, and the ability to successfully expand through um, our personal development, our, our uh, thanks for the radiation of Jupiter, just who we are, our magnificence, uh, Jupiter and Leo here. So all this climate and energy we, can, uh, we are in with right now. So this energy climate will tend to become concrete, to print in the matter through the events transiting through uh, Venus and Jupiter, the gravitational zone. Uh, the, heart, the strong potential here may tend to become easier for implementation and this will be particularly evident for people, those whose uh, themes resonate around the position of Venus and Jupiter on the third deacon of Leo. So if you are a Leo, uh, have the moon in the ascendant, or the nodes and every Sagittarius axis, it could be more clearly be felt in your life. Uh, however, the energies uh, impacting everyone, it may be interesting to see how the house falls with Venus Jupiter conjunction in Leo sign because it can give us an idea of living um, area that may be boosted during the summer. The second uh, for the significant impact with Venus uh, in Leo is a sign that this planet will experience the summer uh, demotion, which makes her stay in the sign for, for several months, several months, instead of three weeks, as it is generally noted by the case of Venus transiting through every sign. So, friends, Leo, yes, you have the right to smile because it's, it's beautiful, it will bless you, it will grant you wishes from June to October. However, the energy of Venus is going to experience a transformation from July 26, when it goes retrograde. I want to will fall back and 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 ascend into the sign of Leo instead of down the down into the demotion that it its effect that can give the impression watching the planet as we see her moving back. The demotion will last between uh, July twenty six and September seven. It will mark a pause of thinking about relationships they that may have well lived. Uh, what we want now, it is quite possible that many events were experienced uh, until the end and to the end of the week of July. We will need to digest, to integrate, um, to internalize these uh, energies of Venus. It will also be uh, a little uh, to go faster with the necessary preparations. Uh, the time will allow us to set, set up, to establish our relationships, ideals. Venus will uh, leave 
um, and we'll move into direct motion in September 7 and then we'll go back with the meeting of Jupiter uh, in the sign of Virgo and um, this union in mid, mid October will probably be a harvest time for all the actions that were taken in, in the summer of love so the position of Venus uh, in a long stay in Leo uh, so we announced been there for three times all fired up in late July under the variable, uh, favorable auspices of Venus Jupiter conjunction like a big inhale uh, then a retention for the demotion of Venus as a silence a pause a moment of calm finally an exhale uh, letting go a crop during the last Venus Jupiter conjunction in Virgo we will have to experience these different stages this during su this summer playing with the energy of the moment to accompany him living living for her when she um, when she is there and rest respite when it follows in order to be as flexible as life is especially since this climate potentially very favorable will feature challenges um, many steps can be to achieve true love uh, the, the right living conditions for a relationship and many situations that will lead us towards excellence of ourselves and of our capacity to love um, these challenges include the square to uh, Saturn to Venus we will talk about time patience structure self-satisfaction in order to not forget that relationships is not an escape from ourselves to to a one that fills us up but a pulling of, of these uh, two uh, contradictory energies so they're full of energy Saturn's uh, time the guardian represents sustainability um, uh, the, the will uh, for the cause that we're here to love and create this relational sacredness uh, these aspirations that it is the requirement so that only the best and the most fulfilling um, comes out through these relationships and so uh, thank you all for watching hope you have commented subscribed and shared on my youtube channel hope you guys like uh, and um, also if you would like to know where Venus or Jupiter and um, hence these aspects that I've recalled in during this presentation message me I like to give you a response in how it affects you natally thank you all for watching